Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the Unmissable Update series. This is basically a news series where I talk about anything newsy that interests me and therefore would probably interest most of you guys. So a few weeks ago I made a video about my E3 predictions for the Bethesda's E3 Showcase 2018 this year. If you haven't seen that video yet feel free to check it out but in conclusion basically most of the studios published by Bethesda Softworks released a bunch of stuff last year. Therefore all those studios that just released stuff having new stuff ready this year is very unlikely. So the chances of Bethesda Game Studios releasing something new is increased because they've booked the showcase slot and there's not much to show that we can calculate or know of. Now this is where it gets really weird. So already there wasn't much to show therefore it was likely that a massive portion of the showcase slot would be Bethesda Game Studios going here's our new thing. Now check out how weird this is. So in that E3 prediction video I said this. Next we have Machine Games, they just released Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus not more than 4 months ago, so will we hear anything from them? I really doubt it, unless it's a DLC announcement for Wolfenstein 2. So will they have anything new? No. Unless it's a Prey DLC? We might be able to expect some more Switch and VR announcements. Now these guys do the Elder Scrolls Legends, which undoubtedly will have a new expansion that will be showcased at E3 this year. And we have ZeniMax Online Studios, uh, these are the guys that do the Elder Scrolls Online. And again, just like the Elder Scrolls Legends, it's pretty much guaranteed that they're going to announce or release a new Elder Scrolls Online expansion. Wolfenstein 2 DLC, Prey DLC, VR stuff, Elder Scrolls Legends expansion, and an Elder Scrolls Online chapter or DLC or whatever you want to call it. Those were five things where I'm like, they don't have much to show, but they could show these. These are the possibilities for them to show at E3 in 2018. Now along with that there was a maybe a Doom thing and definitely a Quake thing. But here's the weird part, what I actually didn't know at the time was that Wolfenstein 2 has actually already had three DLCs. Did you know that? I didn't. So will we see a Wolfenstein 2 DLC at E3? Even more unlikely because they've already made three of them. They were small, so we could expect to see a big one. But again, they could have just held off on that until E3. Next, Arcane Studios. When we're talking about the Prey DLC, well, they posted this on Twitter. Do we really know what's out there? With a picture of the moon. All right, that's pretty suspicious. Then they upload this. Good morning, Morgan. Happy Prey Day. Okay, that's no problem. It's a picture of the studio that made it. Cool, cool. Well, if we look a little bit closer, this young lady in the front here is holding a calendar and the day that has a big red X and is marked out is the day that Bethesda's E3 showcase is going on. And get this, up in the top right hand corner of the picture, there is a whiteboard with a bunch of stuff on it. There we can see it says moon, and there's a picture of the moon. Remember the picture they uploaded just before was a picture of the moon. There's a picture of the moon just here behind these two dudes. And there is also a picture of a moon, a crescent moon, next to the date of Bethesda's E3 showcase. So that is, I mean, that's obvious confirmation of a Prey DLC. Now you might be thinking it's a new Prey game, but because Prey just came out last year, it's much more likely they'll do something like what Dishonored 2 did with Death of the Outsider, where it's not really a DLC, but it's a smaller game made on the same engine with the same assets. Well, you know, there's gonna be some new assets. It's kind of like how Fallout New Vegas related to Fallout 3. Two separate games, it'll probably be a bit smaller, but again, why announce it subtly like this on Twitter and social media when you have E3 coming up? But that's fine. Uh, next up, I predicted more VR stuff. And what do they do a few days later? They announce Skyrim VR on PC. Again, why not just wait till E3 to announce that? All right, no problem, no problem. Next was the Elder Scrolls Legends expansion. Of course, they're gonna announce this at E3. <gasps> nope. They announced it a few weeks ago. The Houses of Morrowind expansion. Uh, E3 is less than three months away. Why would you release this a few months before E3? Announce it, showcase it at E3. All right, all right, no problem. So next is the Elder Scrolls Online DLC or chapter. And admittedly, while I'm super excited about this and I'm super happy they're doing all this before E3 and the sooner the better kind of thing, but this massive DLC or expansion or uh, chapter as they call it for the Elder Scrolls Online Somerset, yes that's right we get to go to the homeland of the High Elves, 
It's been announced uh, today while I'm making this video, the 22nd of March, or the 21st of March if you're in America. But my point again, E3 is less than three months away. Why are they announcing, or even in half of the cases, releasing these things before E3? Well, that is where it all boils down to they have a showcase slot booked, They've already shown us like 80% of the stuff that they could have showed us. So it's like, dude, what massive thing is going to be shown at E3 2018? Well, this young champ's face pops up. I'm pretty 100% certain that Bethesda Game Studios is going to announce and showcase a new game. And while I'm sure that we'll see like a little, ooh, be sure to check out the Somerset Isles, be sure to check out the Houses of Morrowind expansion, here's the Prey DLC, here's a bit of Skyrim VR, blah blah blah. Those things are going to take up like 30 seconds to a minute, two minutes maybe, maybe like 10-15 minutes on Quake Champions. Then we've got this like 35 to 50 minute hole of what the hell are they going to fill this with? Again, it all boils back down to there's one studio we haven't heard from for three years. We have a colossal abyss in the showcase slotting. We can conclude that Bethesda Game Studios is definitely going to announce something massive and that massive thing is going to take up pretty much all of Bethesda's E3 showcase. Why else would they announce all of these things or even in uh, half of the cases release these things before E3? Not only are they not announcing them at E3 but they're releasing them before E3? What? That's pretty crazy stuff. Now if you have seen my Elder Scrolls 6 release date video, I did a couple of graphs and some maths and whatever, and I calculated that Bethesda Game Studios will either release a new game in 2018 or 2019, given their general average between game releases is three to four years. If you haven't watched that one, check it out. And another video you should check out is Todd Howard's interview from just a few days ago, in which he reveals that Bethesda Game Studios has now gone from 100 staff to 300 staff. So in the past, when they've had 100 developers working on their games, they've released games with three to four, sometimes five year gaps. So now they've tripled that staff size. They're gonna close that gap a bit more. So a three year gap between Fallout 4 would leave us exactly this year, 2018. So in terms of game cycles, it's, I mean, it's on the calendar that Bethesda Game Studios releases a new game this year. In terms of Bethesda's E3 showcase, there is a big, at the like minimum 35 minute hole that needs to be filled by something. And in the past, the only thing that's ever come close to filling up that much time was Fallout 4. Again, a Bethesda Game Studios announcement. So if there are or were any doubts in your mind that Bethesda Game Studios is going to announce a new game this year, and not only a new game, but something massive, or you know, equal size to Fallout 4 or bigger, put those doubts away because, come on, Look at the evidence. So stuff is definitely getting exciting. I am super pumped for E3 this year and to have a new game to make content on, more specifically a new Bethesda Games Studios game, in three years. It's going to be brilliant. Please be sure to let me know if I've missed anything or gotten anything wrong. Of course, let me know your thoughts on all of this and if you've come up with any crazy theories yourself. Of course, preferably, I'd like you to be able to back those theories up with some facts or, you know, some conclusion building that makes sense. And with all that said, get pumped. E3 this year is going to be very, very exciting. So I've been Camel. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next video. I'll see you there.